old, and she stands five feet, five inches tall. She weighed in at 120 pounds. Her hometown is Detroit, Michigan, and she trains with the Hate Squad. She's got a 1-0 record in the cage. Let's welcome Kelly Warren. Look at that look from Ian Troy. The way he looks into the camera, I'm telling you, this guy right here is intense. Very, Let's very check out the intense. intense look on the face of Kelly Warren. I know yesterday she was all smiles, along with uh, Karina Holland and both of them drove both willing and happy to step in the cage with each other. Uh, showed a tremendous sportsmanship. We're talking a lot, joking around, hanging out before the fight. But both said when it comes time, they're both going to be looking for the finish. You know, one thing that these two fighters have in common is that they were both cheerleaders in high school. And that now let's uh, introduce her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Yeah, everybody does think about a cheerleader She's fight. She's 26 years and old. Here it is. And here it is. Calling out the next fighter. She weighed in at 119 and pounds. From Nuevo, California. She's an independent fighter with a 3-2 and two record in the cage. She's one hot mess. Let's welcome Karina Halina. You know, Kar Karina Halina, uh, she actually has wins over us, uh, multiple girls on this card tonight. One of them we'll see later on tonight uh, over Hurricane Heather Joe Clark. And uh, she does have two losses, but one of those two losses is a notable loss to uh, Zolia Frosto. For those of you who are fans of women's fighting, know that she yep. just defeated the previously undefeated Megumi Fuji of 22-0. and 0. Beat her uh, by split decision in Bellator this weekend. Well, with a 2-2 two two record, uh, you know, versus uh, Kelly Warren with 1-0, and 0, uh, four years experience with Karina versus three years experience with Kelly Warren, does, does that play in a factor? Like, as soon as you, you talk years or you talk records, uh, what seems to hold more weight? You see, with one of those in that situation, whoever trained yep. the hardest in this fight, that's what's going to show right now. I mean, I know guys that have two years experience that beat guys with 15 years experience. And I just noticed what might help play an advantage is uh, Hullinan coming in five pounds heavier than Warren. Uh, oh, this man. Tape, uh, that's also one inch advantage. advantage. So that may play a part in uh, this, this battle tonight. And you hear the whistles. Now, this could be for the women in the cage, or it could be. Once again, we have our ring girls, and you know I need to get to know these ring girls a little bit better. I need to I, add I don't them know to that's Facebook. Caitlin or if that's Latoya, I or think if, that is or if it's, uh, Caitlin. Chelsea that from is the Caitlin. Back. That is Caitlin. That's Caitlin. Okay, I, just I saw need the to back. add them on Facebook or Twitter. <laughs> Round one underway. One. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, 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 amazing! Yeah, wow, yeah, both women. Helen yeah, coming out blazing. Uh, Kelly Warren, quick <laughs> take center stage, ready to, ready to react. Uh, <laughs> you hear the nice. hands up call One, from the two, corner. Three. Kelly Warren in the loose trunks and Helen in sporting yeah, the uh, spandex the fences right here. a la Aoki. Uh, speaking of fence, you see him pushed up against the cage. Might just work as an advantage for one of the fighters. You know, they're doing good they're on working for, for position. position. And the thing is, you know, this is like a wrestling where you want to pummel in to get inside position. When you have underhooks, that plays to your advantage because you can take them down. You know, Abel, you being a wrestler, you know having inside and under position, pummeling for the inside position is a good advantage. Definitely, definitely. And these girls definitely getting after it. Uh, those smiles and, uh, and jokes that were being displayed yesterday in the press conference definitely have left, as they both said would. And... Wow, uh, we have Warren, Warren looking, just for, uh, off on it. looking to land some shots. Man, no love loss here, you know. And we are talking about the cheerleader of the night going to come out here, and you're going to see who's going to be rocking the pom poms tonight, you know. Oh, nice, right. nice. Yeah, you hear that. Wow, I think I felt that one, guys. Yep. Kelly on the well, what was the advance? Karina Holland with the uh, with a smile on her face. Uh, These girls are no shots. Going for broke. You know, it almost seems like the the, the, the women MMA throw more punches. They only it, bring it, it. It seems like watching the men versus watching the women. I've seen more stand up punches. These women are going at it. They definitely are out to prove a point, and uh, I think that point tonight being that women fighters can bring it in the cage. And that's one thing I love about female fights. They're so unpredictable, and they are exciting. 
whether you're in oh, a nightclub or not. Oh, nice. Takedown. That, that you know, Karina ended up in Kelly's guard. You know, Karina, Kelly is actually working for an arm bar down there. You know, Karina right got away. to be careful. She, she needs to push the head away from the corner. Corner is screaming, push the head away. Is that correct, Ox? She's actually That's working what... to get her position. She needs to send her up and get her shoulders in to push her elbows back to get those thighs behind her. Because when they get a high guard like that, you're susceptible to arm bars and triangles. And you can see Kelly working for a triangle. And Karina, he needs to posture up. She can't stay down like that because that is a bad position to keep your head down low like that. Don't you think, Abel? I definitely would have to agree with you again, Ox and uh, And you know, we have, uh, it looks like Karina Holland is very versed in the ground game as well. She's uh, defending the triangle quite well by staying stacked and keeping uh, both arms inside the, the high guard of Karina Holland and not allowing her to fully lock in that triangle choke. Oh, oh. Kelly got the triangle. And she's, she, that, she's yeah, going two-on-one. She's hooking the leg. Head. That is perfect right there. That is how you finish it. You hook the opposite leg, go two-on-one. And it's a matter of seconds right now. Karina's doing good at fighting off the triangle. Oh, oh, oh that's we, it. That's it. That's the tap. That's, that's it. Wow. Oh, wow. Man. I couldn't she tell that was a tap. That was a tap. Or, or if she was trying to hit her She face. was tapping. Wow, you that know. Looked like a, that, that looked like a couple hammer fists, but that was a tap. I think Karina's going to watch this fight and, and wish she never threw that punch right before she got locked up in that triangle because that, I think, is what's, what led to the end of this fight. Um, getting overexcited, trying to hit that land those shots and... Kelly Warren handled it quite well and locked up her triangle for the victory tonight. I cannot agree anymore with you, Abel. That was a good fight, good technical good fight. submission right there. Refusing you know, the she right did. There. And the thing is, is what she did, when you shoot for that triangle, she hooked the opposite leg to cinch it in tighter. And then that's what Kelly did to get Karina to tap. Karina was tapping, and the ref couldn't see her. You know, well, us, angle, all yes, it looked yeah. like she was trying to hit her in the face. Yeah, it looked like hammer fist, but she was tapping. It was an open hand. And she was slapping the face like for a tap. But don't you that was a great fight. Three Hats minutes, off to Kelly. 12 seconds of the first round by Triangle Choke. Let's give it up for Kelly Warren. Just a, you know, you see the look of disappointment on Karina's wow, face. Uh, the look of say, you know, Kelly. you tell me or talk to me yesterday with a smile on your face and uh, saying that you and these two, you and uh, Helen in here are you know, friends inside the cage before this fight. And uh, you said you weren't going to hold back when he got into the cage, and you definitely kept true to your word. Uh, talk to me about the fight. No, I, I just went out there and did, did what I thought was right. I just kind of went with the flow of things. Um, it was a great fight, so. That was tre tremendous ground game displayed. I know you wanted me to give a shout-out to your Aunt Kelly, everybody watching at home, uh, and her family. So, uh, Thank the hate squad, Dom Grady, and everybody for helping me prep for this fight. Um, also, my former coach, Nate Kuzno, he's a great guy. And all my family, I love the guys. Warren and Helen, and out to prove that woman can get it too. So give it up for these two ladies, everybody. Congratulations.